Hello, yes, I realize that we've been through this twice before, but this time we really will go for the ultimate in clear resolution on your Amiga. And to get the ultimate clear resolution, we're going to start in windowed mode and to clear up a mistake. I said that the optimum windowed mode was 720 times 576. Unfortunately, I was wrong. checking the pull down menu you can also see 720 times 576 and for years I thought that that was the optimum output of the Amiga you can see it doesn't have the overscan all activated at the moment so that's an expansion that we can expand that window to on a native Amiga See, I'm actually wrong, it's 568 is the correct aspect ratio, and you can see it gets rid of the black border on the bottom of the screen, and so 720 times 568 is actually correct, and I was wrong. But you can see the overscan because there's no scaling on there, and the correct aspect ratio is disabled, everything's nice and clear. But what happens if you don't do that at all? 40 times 480 you can see on the pull down menu and that is an optimum screen ratio so let's just try that 640 times 480 and you can see some of it is missing On the automatic scaling mode you can see that that automatically scales to the correct aspect ratio and almost you can see some of the lines missing the workbench is slightly distorted and the internet is slightly distorted as well but that's almost a crystal clear display And actually by 512 you can see that that's now a crystal clear display, it fits all of it on the screen. So you can see that the fonts are now perfect. So my mistake, if we go in ratios of 640 times 512, we should get a clear picture. So to test that out, let's just double it. And there you go, pixel for pixel, no font distortions. That is the optimal screen ratio. 1280 times 1024 and if you take off screen scaling effect that will give you the overscan ratio as well so i definitely recommend 1280 times 1024 if you have a 2k monitor or it's 640 times 512 if you have a 1080p monitor and that should mean that the amiga runs pixel for pixel without any distortions on the screen but what about full screen mode? This is the mode that most people are interested in and you can't run 640 times 512 in full screen mode, unfortunately. So let's just reset the window back to the optimum. What we can do is run 800 by 600 and as you can see, if we run that in 800 by 600, it's not too bad if we don't have the screen scaling filter switched on and with it off you can see that all the fonts are nice and crisp and everything looks fine but if we go back that's an 800 times 600 mode that's 4-3 but that's with the no scaling option enabled and everything disabled and so what happens if we choose automatic scaling like i used to suggest and try that well you can see all of the fonts and all of the image is actually very much distorted because of the automatic scaling and so if we try to alter that by changing it to automatic you can see the fonts are still garbled on automatic and this got me suspicious that i wasn't actually running the correct aspect ratio on my amiga so how do you fix that problem that is definitely a problem and on 800 by 600 mode it is a problem so let's go back to 640 times 480 we know that multiples of 640 actually do work even though it's 512 and we can't select 512 on win uae 
But let's go for this one and check it out. And you can see that all of it is very much distorted once again. And that screen aspect ratio is very much messed up. Our look of our Amiga. Everything's on, everything's on automatic, and the screen ratio is on automatic and everything, but everything's garbled. So let's just try another display. 640 times 480 didn't work. What about our Magic 720? Well, we can go for 720 times 576, and that's what I used to recommend before I realized it was actually 568. So let's try the 576. Let's see if that's any clearer. And it's a bit clearer, but everything's still garbled and everything still seems squashed there in the middle of that screen. So what can we do to sort everything out? Well, right at the bottom of all of this, yes, none of these things really work. And let's just have a look at the filters because in the filters, if we can click on it, it will show us the automatic scaling mode that is definitely recommended so that you can get games in full PAL ratio, even if they are NTSC compatible. But automatic, automatic everything does nothing to stop the screen garbling effect, which is a problem. So let's take some steps to sort this thing out. We could select no scaling whatsoever and that would sort it out. But what we can choose is none of the above. We can choose native right at the bottom of that screen. And native is the magic formula which sorts everything out. So if we select that, and here we go, pixel for pixel, there it is, our Amiga. There it is, no distortions, all of the fonts are readable, and as you can see, it matches the edge of our lemon Amiga sign. That means it's in the correct aspect ratio. So we finally found it, native mode, is the mode that I recommend. That's with the automatic scaling and automatic aspect ratio correction. And so let's have a play with that. If we disable that, what that will do is pixel for pixel widescreen that. And that's how I like to play most Amiga games. And so that widescreen pixel for pixel effect, you can see no garbled fonts. And if I reset the machine, that includes the boot up fonts, everything will be pixel for pixel. If I choose 169, that will return us back to 43 because we are choosing the 169 screen that we are using, and that will automatically put us back to the 43. You can see there's no distortion, no garbling whatsoever, and this is with automatic scaling mode enabled. And we can also have a play around with these things while we're here. You can see scanline opacity, which really does mess up my recorder. But in real life, it does look good, but I never was one for scan lines. And we can also check out the point bilinear filter as well, which makes everything just a little bit fuzzy, just like we got on our home TVs and things like that back in the day. So we can change the scan line level. Again, none of that really shows up on the OBS screen recorder. So let's get rid of those and we can see that everything looks and smells and is very much like a perfect Amiga. What I like to do is to leave the point bilinear filter on and that smooths out the rough edges and that means that we're not looking at an absolute pixel for pixel monitor clear image but it's important to note that this only works with DirectX 9 not 11 as far as I know. So you have to go to DirectX 9 to activate the point bilinear filter. And in 16.9 mode, or of course you can switch that off if you want full screen mode. So there you go, that's how you get pixel for pixel 4.3 on full screen on a 16.9 TV. And if you want that full screen, you can also disable that. And that's how I like to play most games. I record them in 4.3, but I play them in 69. So, pixel, pixel, there it is. And the magic formula was native screen mode after all. So, thank you for watching another Lamin Amiga. Finally, third time lucky. Review of how to get this thing working. Thank you.